All right, everybody, we are doing the series of the entire interview process, and we've broken up with a couple more videos. Um, you've seen a very lengthy video of the entire process. Just before this, you would have seen a pre-screening video. So now we're at a point where you are a business owner, executive, hiring manager, or a internal recruiter in a company, or someone in HR at a business, and you have had somebody um, on your team pre-screen and pre-vet a list. This could even be a recruiting company that you hired where they went through 100 applicants and narrowed down to the top 10, 15 applicants so far. Now, what role do you play next? This person has already been pre-screened with sim simple questions. Now they're about to meet you. This is where you have to go 50-50. 50-50, very important, meaning 50% of your time is allocated towards um, their qualifications and making sure they're the right fit. And the other 50% of your time is personality. Personality, very important. So what I would do in these interviews, which shouldn't be more than 15 minutes, this is still a preliminary interview. Um, call it the first round of actual interviews. A pre-screen doesn't count as an interview. Um, what I would be doing is limiting it to 15 minutes. If someone pre-vetted somebody for me and gave me the highlighted notes, they showed that they want a, um, a certain wage, they have certain experience, they have... Uh, um, certain work hours, they'd want to work, etc. I would go over that in an interview. So step one is obviously the hello, nice to meet you, then dive into their qualifications. Tell me more about you and your background and your situation. I love the question of tell me about your situation because I want to know why they're looking for a job. From there is tell me a little bit about specific experience. Ask them direct questions about the experience that you're looking for. Then from there is um, diving into the personality. Really, and by how you do that is by you having to talk more. By being able to, one little trick that I do is I talk about myself and I talk about the business. So if I'm interviewing with someone, I go through a whole uh, conversation just for a couple of minutes on this is who we are as a business. This is what we're trying to do. This is why we're hiring. This is how long I've been in the company for. This is uh, what I do over here. And, you know, talking up the company a little bit and just being honest and telling them about my story and who I am. Because obviously, if you've been at a cocktail party and you're sitting with someone, if somebody's talking about themselves, you're obviously comfortable to engage in that conversation to, 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 ha to, be, to then share something about you. So interviews is very psychological in that aspect. If you're very closed off as an interviewer and you're just going off of a checklist, that person's going to be very closed off. But if you're open a little bit and you share a little bit about you in you know, how long you've been with the company for, why you like the business, um, a little bit more, you know, how long you've been in your role for. Um, and being open a little bit, it'll open up somebody else. It's a tool. This is a tool that allows you to get someone comfortable to then th you could start seeing if they start slipping or if they start excelling. When I do that and I make someone comfortable, I start seeing if they start swearing in an interview, if they start, you know what, opening up to certain things that they didn't mention beforehand. Obviously, the more comfortable someone is, the more they start talking and you have to wait for those cues. And that could all be ha happening within just a 15 minute conversation. So with that said, to summarize all of this, you've got someone pre-screen. Go over it right away. Go right into the experience. If they do check off the experience and they do, in fact, have it from there, you have to touch on the personality. How you trigger personalities, now it's your turn to talk about yourself, which is a tool that will allow them to get comfortable so they could talk more about themselves without you having to ask them the awkward question of tell me about yourself because it's very weird. So um, with that, once they start opening up and you see their personality, that is when you can make an evaluation to decide whether they should meet the final, go, go and advance into a final interview and meet the hiring manager from there. Hey, thanks for watching our content. Listen, if you're running a business and you're struggling to find staff, I want to introduce myself. My name is Christian Saab. I own CPG Recruitment and I help companies across North America find the people that they need to find. Listen, a great business cannot be built unless you've got great people. You and I both understand that having the right people on your team is so important and that's where I could come in and help you. So listen, I want you to shoot me a text message. Here's my direct cell phone. Have my number. Reach out to me. I'd love to hear your story and get to know what you're trying to accomplish and that way maybe I can help you fix this problem.